Ho ho ho, very, very festive. Well hello and welcome to the Tuesday edition of Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB into your TV. We will start this morning with some breaking medical breakthrough news. Uh, this, this is entitled Once More Nibble for Woman because we've got a 52 year old woman who is paralyzed from the neck down. She's been able to feed herself and even high five doctors uh, by using a groundbreaking new robotic arm controlled by electrodes implanted in her brain. Her name is Jan Sherman and here she is feeding herself quite a large chocolate bar with a robotic arm and I'm, and I'm thinking instead of thinking feed myself chocolate maybe she sort of thought feed myself salad just going from that picture don't know don't know if that's all the doctors are going interesting choice large lady all right we've got some more medical breaking medical breakthrough news I've, that, that headline I know I've used it before but it's it's a little bit clunky but anyway you know what I mean um, and this isn't so much a medical breakthrough as news of a medical condition I was uh, hitherto not aware of. Uh, the musical ear syndrome. Uh, Kath Gamester, 84, from Liverpool, uh, keeps hearing the songs God Save the Queen, Abide With Me, You'll Never Walk Alone, and Silent Night, Oh and Happy Birthday. Just going round and round and round in a loop ever since she took some uh, antidepressant medication. Uh, in 2010. So she just constantly hears that music on a loop the whole time. It's a bit like being on hold uh, to to telecom or something I suppose. Just all the time. Uh, it could be worse though. Uh, it could be Susan Boyle or One Direction. So yeah. Uh, go Ed, go, go, go. Into office emails. That's right. We've got one here. It says uh, Glen ZB needs a good boost from somewhere. Our views per episode are ranging between 40 and 80 at this stage and we need them at least in the triple digits to keep this beautiful series cranking through 2013! Who wrote this? Alan! So, now this is, this is just like, this is exactly what happened to Paul Henry in, in Australia on TV there. Nobody watched and now he's He's got to come back to New Zealand. And, I mean, imagine what's going to happen to me if Glen ZB TV goes under because nobody's watching it. Um, did you take the YouTube views into account? Because I checked up and, and, and on yesterday's uh, YouTube, three people watched it. So that's taking it up to, that might take it up to 83. It's three, three is a triple figure, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm sounding a bit desperate. Um, I'll tell you what probably would happen to me if, if this didn't happen anymore is I'd have a bit of time up my sleeve probably make another coffee maybe go out for a muffin I don't know alright final topic is Jack Tame my nemesis because he's every he's, this guy is everywhere <coughs> I saw him on TV this morning he was interviewing people from uh, the new Les Mis movie he was also reporting from Connecticut he was on the Mike Hosking Breakfast report reporting from Connecticut. Uh, and now he's taking over from Paul Holmes on Saturday mornings on News Talk ZB. He's like, he's doing everything. Actually, now that I think of it, is that what's it? If, if I don't get the views up, it's going to be Jack Tame ZB TV. Is that what? I knew it! Thank you so much for watching me. Tell your friends!